Good morning or afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I am the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar is especially for leadership teams in BNI, and what we're going to be talking about today is goals, chapter goals, and how can you record and measure your chapter goals in BNI Connect. Uh, BNI Connect has a, a very great tool that allows you to go in and do you know, at, in six-month increments, pretty much a six-month or a one-year or even longer, plan for your chapter. So you can really kind of take control of how big would you like your chapter to, to grow to, how many members, how many visitors, how much thank you for closed business, how many referrals, and come up with all of these statistical goals for your chapter. And then the great part about it is as the year goes on and you're submitting POMS reports through the years, it will automatically update this report, the goals report, with those recent statistics so you can see where you're landing in relation to your goals. So that's the thing that we are going to be talking about today. Again, chapter goals for leadership teams. Before we get started with that, just a couple of housekeeping things to go over real quick. The first of which is that this is a live webinar. So if you have any questions at all as we're going through the material today, please do ask those questions. The best way to ask questions is to type your question into the question panel on the webinar software. I'll see those questions pop up on my screen and I'd be happy to answer those as we're going through the material today. Now we're scheduled for about 30 minutes worth of content. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to go through this material. That being said, um, for those of you that have questions or would like to hang out longer and ask anything about BNI Connect, you are welcome to do so. I will stay here until every single question has been answered. A couple of other things, we are recording this webinar. The best way to um, access the recording is to go to our support site. Now you get to our support site by clicking on this question mark up here in the upper right hand corner of BNI Connect once you're logged in. That will take you over to support.bniconnect.com. It is a separate website, uh, but it is uh, tied in with BNI Connect via the login. But if you scroll down, you'll see our list of upcoming webinars. There is only one more webinar after this, uh, this month, and that is going to be tomorrow, the Leadership Team Tools and Reports. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a section called Chapter Training and Documentation. And in here, you will see the recorded webinars. Just click there and you can go in chronologically and see any of them. Uh, I should have the July webinars uploaded uh, pretty soon, hopefully in the next couple of days. And I'll also have next month's webinar schedule uploaded as soon as possible. You can also go directly to our YouTube channel. So go to youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. And up here, you'll see a ton of videos. Uh, you'll see special messages from Dr. Meisner. Of course, all of the BNI Connect webinars are uploaded and stored here. You'll also see some things like educational moments, short three to five minute videos um, that help you with very specific tasks. Those are designed, well, specifically as well, educational moments. So you can use them in your chapters if you have specific, um, let's say that you're going to be rolling out the online uh, referrals, that's something that you can share with your chapter. And if you have the technology to do so, even play it right at your chapter meeting. All right, so let's jump in to today's topic. Again, we're gonna be talking about chapter goals. In order to access the chapter goals, we are going to have to dive in past the home screen. So of course the home screen here is where we enter all of our slips and we can look at our personal statistics and things like that. But in order to get to some of these advanced functions, you do need to go beyond this home screen. Now to get there, um, we need to go up into these menus up along the top, network operations, reports, tools, and admin. Now, the way I always remember where to find stuff, uh, network is always going to be the social media components or the networking functionality of BNI Connect. So where the groups are and the testimonials and the connections, things like that, things you're going to be doing when you're interacting with other people. The other two places where you spend most of your time is operations and reports. Now, operations is input, reports is read only. So if you're looking to get data out of BNI Connect, you go to reports. 
there you'll find visitor reports and POMS reports and um, absentee reports and member training reports and all sorts of things. If you're looking to enter something though, which is what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be entering and maintaining our chapter goals, we need to go to the operations menu. So let's jump into operations. And this is a chapter level function. So we're going to operations chapter. And you'll see right here on the left hand side, the menu has manage goals. Now, once we go to manage goals, you have two options. You can enter the chapter goals or you can view the chapter goals. Now, obviously, if I choose uh, view chapter goals here, um, I'm looking at our frozen assets chapter up in Antarctica. And right now it's not showing us anything because we don't have any goals entered. That's what we are going to do right now. So let's go ahead and click on enter chapter goals. Now the first thing that we need to do when we're getting ready to enter the goals for the chapter is we do need to come up with the overall kind of the, the big picture strategy of our chapter. So the two things that are big picture when it comes to our chapter is the long-term vision and the mission statement. Now the long-term vision is really kind of where do you want to get to as a chapter? Not so much in terms of, of maybe hard numbers because that's what we're going to be doing when we get into kind of the spreadsheet portion of things. But what kind of big idea do you have for your chapter? Now, up here in Antarctica, in the frozen assets chapter, I came up with a uh, long-term vision that we would like to grow the chapter to be the largest chapter in the entire continent. In addition, we wish to be the number one chapter in closed business and referrals within a 200-mile radius. So that is our BHAG, our big, hairy, audacious goal for this chapter. Now, the mission statement... The mission statement is kind of, you know, what are your guiding principles? So the long-term vision is where do you want to get to? And the mission statement is how am I going to get there? So for the, the principles, the guiding principles or the mission statement of this chapter, I have uh, to help our members increase the business through a structured, positive, and professional word-of-mouth program that enables them to develop long-term, meaningful relationships with quality business professionals and create positive community goodwill. Now, once I have those saved, the next thing I'm going to do is pick a start month and a year. Now, the long-term vision and mission statement are, they're really, they're permanent as far as the goals go. You can always go back and you can update them and edit them, but you don't have to update them for every six month period. It's going to stay there throughout all of the goal process. Um, we do have a question from Sid. Sid says, did you go to operations to bring up chapter goals? So yes, you want to go to operations chapter. Just doing this in a new window so I don't lose that. But you're going to go to operations chapter manage goals, and then enter chapter goals. So again, operations chapter, manage goals, enter chapter goals. All right, hope that helps, Sid. Excellent. All right, so the next thing you do after you've gotten your long-term vision and mission statement all set, set up is you do need to pick which six-month period you want to work on in order to enter your, your goals. Now, by default, it's going to show us the next upcoming BNI six-month period. As you may or may not know, the six-month periods, the BNI year goes from October through March, and then from April through September. So those are the two six-month periods that we concentrate on in BNI. So it's going to, by default, show us the next six-month period, which begins in, on October 1st. You don't have to start on October 1st. You can start, let's say that you're halfway through your term, and you'd like to start today. You can, or for August 1st, let's say. I can go back and choose August to start with, or you know, I can backdate it, whatever you'd like to do. But it will only allow you to work on six months at a time, and that's really just space limitations on the screen. So I'm going to choose August, so I'm going to start with next month, and click Go. And basically when you do that, it will create a six-month kind of spreadsheet 
for entering all of your goals into the system. The goals are broken down into a number of different, what we call you know, chapter success drivers. Again, chapter success drivers. And those success drivers are attendance percentage, total number of one-to-ones, CEUs, visitors, new memberships, number of members in the chapter, number of referrals, and thank you for closed business. Those are all of the success drivers. Notice that they are all measurable. So we are going to put in actual numbers for each one of these. Along with the goal, so what you have is you have month by month by month, you have the success driver, and then we're going to be entering the goal across for each month. Along with those goals, you'll also see what are called mechanisms. And the mechanisms are, they help you as a leadership team to keep you focused and on track with what you're doing throughout the year. So one of the mistakes that um, a lot of us make in leadership team roles, and I am a member, I've been a member for 13 years, so I've been on the leadership team a number of times over those 13 years. Um, hopefully the last few times I did a good job. But, you know, throughout the years, as, especially starting out, a lot of us only think about B&I on the day of our meeting. And that's just as true for members as it is for leadership teams. So all of a sudden, you know, a month goes by or two months goes by and we kind of forget to do things that we might have wanted to do. You know, for example, maybe you wanted to play the BNI game or maybe you wanted to um, have a visitor's day or you wanted to have a stack day or you wanted to do a you know special educational moment. All of those things, what we can do is use this as kind of a calendar, so to speak, to schedule those things out throughout the year and put them in so that we can see how they're supporting various goals throughout the year. So along with the goals, we will be putting in mechanisms as well. So let's take a look at how this works now. Before we start putting in numbers, there's one final decision that you have to make, and that is whether or not we're going to be viewing our goals, whether we're gonna be entering our goals on a per chapter basis, or if we're gonna be putting them in on a per member basis. And the reason that we need to make this decision is really it's big number versus small number, and it will affect the calculations when you go to view the report later. Most people enter this in as a whole chapter number. Uh, that is the default, and again, that's what almost everybody uses. However, you can do this as a per member number as well. You know, the difference is, for example, for total number of one-to-ones, am I putting in 100 one-to-ones? Or am I putting in, you know, four one-to-ones, um, you know, one per member per week? And again, it will make a difference um, in the report view later. You cannot switch back and forth between whole chapter and per member, you know, per goal. It is It will apply to all of the figures um, on the sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, the first one we have here is attendance percentage. So hopefully everybody's goal is to have 100% attendance, um, that you know, every member shows up every week. In Antarctica, we, uh, we are having a little struggle with that. So I'm going to need to work my way up towards that 100% up in Antarctica. So one thing I do know is where I want to get to and where I am now. And that's kind of how I recommend that you look at these goals when you're going to enter them. Where are you at now and where do you want to get to in that time period? So I know that right now, you know, we're running at about an 85% attendance ratio. So probably for next month, I'm looking to improve that a little bit, but it's probably going to be pretty close to that 85%. So I'm going to say we're going to really get to maybe like 86% by next month. Now, by the end of this six-month period, though, I'd like to get up to, let's say, I don't know, 96%. Not quite up to 100%, but let's get pretty close at 96%. 
Now that I have a beginning number and an end number, I know that I can increment this along the way. So hopefully we're seeing steady growth and improvement throughout that period. So maybe this now becomes 88, 90, 92, 94, and then 96. So we're slowly increasing by 2% every month, not just jumping from 86% to 100% in one month time period. Now, there are other things to keep in mind when it comes to doing this. It's not always nice and linear like that. Um, you know, I do know that we are going to have some issues, for example, in December. You know, December is a, December and January are big holiday months. So, you know, we there may even be a week or two that we um, are unable to have a meeting, maybe because of snow days or maybe because of um, you know, holidays, you know, Christmas and New Year's and things like that and Thanksgiving. So here in the United States anyway. Um, so you may want to take those into consideration with some of these goals um, and adjust them accordingly because of that. But for now, I'm going to keep it fairly uh, simple and linear. My other advice to you on this is that don't let it get overcomplicated. It's better to put something in there, to put anything in there, than to get so overwhelmed that you end up putting nothing in there. Um, so if you have to, just throw some spaghetti to the wall and see what sticks, and you can always go back and update those later. Uh, Sid says, to use per member, you have accountability, otherwise we don't. Um, if we have 21 members, do we have to do 21 separate items? Um, there is no individual accountability in this. Again, the per member versus per chapter, that it just has to do with the way the calculation is done on the other, she, on the other report that is made out of this. So it's not actually putting in individual goals for each member. Does that make sense, Sid? So the answer is no, correct. All right. All right, so mechanisms. Let's just talk about mechanisms for a second. Now, mechanisms, as I said, are things you can use to support those goals throughout the year. For example, what might be some mechanisms that we can use to support attendance? How can we get more people to show up to the meeting, show up on time, send a substitute, things like that? You know, one thing might be that we really want to make sure that our um, membership committee, that our vice president is fully on board with following up with people that have not shown up to the meeting, which means sending the control letters and making the phone calls when people are absent. So maybe that's something that I want to start off with an educational moment about right in August. So what I'd like to do is really put myself a reminder in here to say that, you know, in August, we are going to do an educational moment. I'm going to abbreviate that to EM about uh, the importance of showing up to the meeting. And then maybe for another mechanism for this is, we are going to make sure that the attendance letters are being sent, let's say, by the membership committee. All right, so those are two mechanisms that we can use to support that. And we can come up with other mechanisms to help us through the remaining months as well. Um, for example, maybe around the holidays, if we want to increase attendance, maybe we need to make sure that we are um, having a joint meeting on uh, a day when the venue is closed. You know, and that way we're not missing our meeting that week. And maybe in November we want to announce the snow policy. So again, these are all things that you're using as a leadership team to really plan out your year. Now, before I go too much further, you may want to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. You want to do this every once in a while because BNI Connect does have a 30-minute timeout. 
If you don't have any activity on the screen for 30 minutes, if you walk away, you go take a phone call, um, you know, have to go chase the cat or something like that, then you will be logged out of the system after 30 minutes, which means that if you haven't saved it, you will lose all of that information. So do make sure that you save once in a while. All right, so that's attendance. Um, if you would like some more ideas on mechanisms, you can always click on the chapter goal guide up at the top. And the goal guide will give you, per uh, benchmark or success driver, it will give you different ideas. So again, follow up phone calls, play the BNI game, acknowledging people for per perfect attendance. So making sure that you're handing out notable networker certificates, for example. So all these are great ideas for increasing attendance. And of course, there are ideas for all of the different ones. Uh, Sid says, can the leadership team all be on the same goals simultaneously? Can we all see at the same time? Uh, unfortunately, this is not like a, um, a, a workbook or a simultaneous workbook, but what you could do is you could be on a phone at the same time maybe, enter the goals, have one person enter them and save them, and then if the other two people refresh their screen, then they should show up, but it won't be real time that way. So hopefully that answers your question, Sid. Great questions today, thank you. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Now, some of these are, you don't necessarily need to go in order. And as a matter of fact, I recommend that you don't go in order. And the reason for that is that some of these will be dependent on the number of people that you are expecting to have in the chapter, especially if you're using four whole chapter numbers. So for example, total number of one-to-ones for the chapter, that is going to increase month by month, hopefully, based on the number of members that I have in the chapter as well. So what you probably want to do is actually skip down a bit and first look at number of members in the chapter. That's probably the best one to do next. So right now, you know, we're struggling in the frozen assets chapter. We're down to about, you know, about 25 members in the group. You know, we'd really like to get back up eventually to, to 50 members. I think that's a great size for the group. We were there and um, business was flying, but we really need to get back up there. So we have 25 members right now, the end of July. By the end of August, I'm hoping that we maybe add at least one more member. Now, let's see, what would be a good goal for the end of this period um, for a nice, you know, steady growth? And let's say that we want to make sure that we're adding at least one member a month. So I know I can go from 26 to 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So if you're on a more accelerated growth, then maybe you want to increase those numbers a bit. Um, but for me, we want to get up to about 31 members in the next six months, which is about a member a month. And of course, we have mechanisms that can help us to reach those goals. Um, for example, we know that we would like to do <clears throat> a fall visitor's day. And usually October is a nice time, September, October is a nice time to do that. Kids are going back to school and you know, the weather's starting to change a little bit. People are hunkering back down to business. So I'm going to say we're going to plan a visitor's day in October. So I put that in as one of our mechanisms. And I may want to put myself a reminder that we're going to do an educational moment about visitor's day. in September, so we're going to try to rally the troops around it and get them excited about the Visitor's Day that we will be performing in October. So it does take a little while to plan a Visitor's Day as well. And of course, we can do other things that help to support our number of members and chapter goal as well. Um, you know, we can have some focused inviting. We can make, make sure subs are not existing members 
you know, all sorts of things that can help us to increase the visibility of our chapter. And of course, if you're looking for some ideas on that, just click the chapter goal guide. And you can look up various other ideas for mechanisms. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And of course, number of members, again, that's really a driver for a lot of these other statistics that we need to put in. Um, for example, in order to get those new members, we need to bring in new members along with that. And for that, we need new memberships. So if we're going to be adding one new member a month, we need at least one new membership per month into the chapter. Now, I say at least because, as you probably know already, is that, you know, people don't necessarily stay in BNI forever. And a lot of those, there's really not much we can do about it. People change jobs. People move out of state. Uh, people have children or, you know, need to take a sabbatical. Some people get too busy and they can't handle it anymore. Whatever the reason is, we do have a certain level of attrition. Now, nationally speaking, it tends to be about one member per month. So in order to account for that, we want to make sure that if our goal is to grow Oh, looks like I accidentally bumped into the mute button. I uh, lost audio there for you. I apologize for that. Um, the <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Brian and Chuck. The, uh, the thing about goals um, is that a goal can be supported. A mechanism can support multiple goals at the same time. So, for example, we have this Visitor's Day scheduled in October. Well, that Visitor's Day supports not just the number of members in chapter, but it also supports things like the new memberships. So I can take this Visitor Day and copy it and paste it into new memberships. I can paste it into visitors. I can paste it into, uh, let's see, probably not attendance. And yeah, that's probably about it. So that helps to support those goals and it will help you to um, you know, fill out the sheet a little bit faster as well. Uh, let's see, Sid had another question as well. Where's the chapter goal guide? For the chapter goal guide, scroll to the top of the page and up in this, the first blue line up here, there's the chapter goal guide button. So just hit that button right there. That's where you'll find it. All right. So that is the new memberships. Now, in order to have new memberships, you need to bring in what? Visitors. So, and we need to bring visitors in to support those new memberships. Visitors, um, you know, not all visitors join the chapter, which is okay. We may, they may not be qualified for the chapter or there may be a conflict. So how many visitors do you need to bring in per new membership? And that really, that's going to be a personal uh, kind of number depending on what your um, you know, conversion ratio or closing ratio is for visitors for your chapter. So generally speaking, I know in our chapter, probably you know, one in four or one in five visitors ends up joining. So that means that for every one member or for every two members, I'm, we are going to need to bring in probably about 10 visitors, you know, between eight and 10 visitors, if one in every four, one in every five join. So we are going to need to bring in, let's say, 10 visitors per month in order to support our steady goal of two members per month growth. Now, some months, hopefully, we have more than that, and some we may have a little bit less, but that's a good goal to have. And there's things that you can, of course, do to support 
those visitors and those new members besides the visitor day. We can make sure that we're doing, uh, let's say, visitor orientation. We can make sure that we have our uh, visitor table set up properly. And again, you can fill out the rest of those mechanisms. And finally, we have basically our kind of bread and butter numbers. We have number of referrals, CEUs, and one-to-ones. These are basically all POMS activity numbers. Now for these, um, personally, uh, we're in our region, our goal for all of these is to really have one referral, one CEU, and one one-to-one -one per member per week. That is our goal as a chapter and as a region. We call it the power of one. So in order to do that, when I'm thinking about number of referrals, what I really want to do is take my number of members in the chapter and kind of multiply that by four. It's not an exact science because not every week, every month has four weeks in it, but it's close enough for what we're doing here. I don't think we're going to be audited on this anytime soon. So I'm going to say it's going to be, you know, 104 referrals per month. And then we're going to be doing, well, we have one more member. So it's going to be 108, 112, 116, 120, and 124. And of course, we can put the mechanisms in for that as well. And because we're looking for one of each of one-to-ones and um, CEUs as well, we can just type those numbers into each of these goals also. And finally, we have our thank you for closed business. And we know that we want to be, you know, we want to break a million dollars as a chapter this year. Even though we're only 20 members right now, we want to pass a million dollars in business. So in order to do that, we are going to need to pass basically at least $100,000 a month in business. That'll bring us to 1.2 million. So I can just put in goals of 100,000. And I can put that all the way across the board. And click Save. And now I am most of the way here to having my chapter goals filled out. Now, as I said, as you go through the year, it will start to input the progress of those goals against what your POMS report and your membership says. So to go and view that, you're going to go to Manage Goals again and click on View Chapter Goals. Now, by default, this is going to show us the current six-month period. And unfortunately, up here in, um, in Antarctica, we're not doing a great job keeping up to date with our POMS reports. But you can see for the months of August and September, it has at least carried over the goals and mechanisms that we put in. Now, if you, let's, let's take a look at a real one. I'm going to switch over real quick to the United States. And I know there's, there's one region down in Florida, the, uh, the Florida, uh, the Central West region. Every single chapter in the region uh, uses this goal system. Um, this was actually developed by their executive director, um, in part, uh, Tom Fleming. And they are very big into using goals. So I should be able to pick any random chapter down here. And let's take a look. And this is one of the chapters now. So their 212 chapter down there, they want to grow to be the strongest referral-based network in Florida. And their mission statement is they're going to work with each other to help the members of our chapter to accomplish their goals. We believe in the philosophy of giver's gain. This is reflected in the commitment we have to know, like, and trust one another. And here you can see that they have a goal of 100% attendance. So far this year, they've reached 93%, 91%, 95%, and 96% so far in July. You can see their goals of total number of one-to-ones is 400, 360, 460, 376, and they hit 301 month, 257, 310. So what you can see here is that the system is putting in the actual numbers as they achieve them month by month.
And that, my friends, are, is the goals in BNI Connect. So uh, we are at the bottom of the hour. Um, what I'd like to do is to, I'm going to open this up for questions. And as I mentioned earlier, I will stay online until every single question is answered. So do please feel free to ask as many questions as you would like to. Um, that being said, if you do need to leave, I completely understand. There are um, other appointments that you may need to get to. Reminder that this is being recorded, so you'll be able to watch the whole thing as well as all of the questions, both on our YouTube channel and on the support site. All right, so we do have one more question uh, from Sid. He says, can current leadership team officers see chapter goals from other chapters? Um, unfortunately, no. You are limited to only uh, viewing your own goals in your chapter. You uh, are not able to see other chapter goals. That being said, that is something that your regional office has access to. So your director consultant um, and or your executive director may be able to, at their discretion, share the goals with you from other chapters in the region and be able to give you some examples that way. So hopefully that helps, Sid. Uh, let's see, Brian asks, are there templates we can use to make this more efficient, something that creates thought but simplifies? So um, templates like written, written out templates, um, so to speak, blank ones so that you can fill this out in a spreadsheet and then come back and enter them into BNI Connect. Is that what you're referring to? I mean, that being said, we don't really have any pre-filled in templates. One thing that you can do, and let me switch back to Antarctica here for a second. But if I go to enter my, or I'm sorry, I want to go to view my chapter goals. So if I go to chapter goals again and view chapter goals, You'll notice that these, just about every report in BNI Connect anyway, is able to be printed and exported. So if I wanted to use, let's say, a spreadsheet for this, I could export this chapter goal guide here to Excel and be able to fill this out in Excel and then copy and paste it. So that way, if you're doing this as a leadership team, for example, you could sit down with your leadership team, fill it out here on paper, and then go back and enter it into BNI Connect. But as far as an actual template that takes into account timings and things like that, there isn't anything like that um, available at this time. Does that answer your question, Brian? Uh, let's see, Jared says, if goals are entered on a per member basis and your membership increases, does the goal automatically update? Um, no, when you're done, when you're putting it in um, on a per member basis, what that does is it, it calculates it, it will calculate it out based on your projected number of members. So basically, rather than you saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to have 27 members, we want one referral per week, that's going to be, you know, 100 and... Um, 12 referrals, for example, or, or whatever it is. It would do that in the report for you. But it is, it's done based on the number of members that you're projecting, not the actual number of members that you have. Yes, so projected based on your, your goals, exactly, Jared. Uh, Sid says, if we're three months in and our reality is way off from our goals, what do you suggest? I suggest going in and modifying them. Um, you know, you may want to check with uh, people that are smarter than myself, but that being said, I, I don't personally believe that goals once sh should be written in stone. Um, I think that goals should be malleable. Um, they're there for a purpose of driving you not burying you. Um, if you can't dig yourself out of the hole that um, you put in for goals, then, you know, adjust them. Go in and, you know, lower the goals for the next couple of months or the next six months or the next year. Um, that's, that's my opinion anyway. 
Brian says, when do the leadership team elect get access to this edit review of chapter goals? Uh, when they become, when they actually become the officers. So they will have access to this tool. Yep, Jared says, SMART goals are attainable. Uh, SMART being an acronym, of course. Uh, Brian, that also, I should say, um, as far as the permissions to view this, is a, um, it, it's a local permission, so that is something that's set by the executive director. Um, so if that needs to be changed, uh, it can be changed on a regional level. Uh, Lori from St. Louis says, thank you very much, and you are welcome very much. Happy that you were here. If you like this webinar, please make sure to let your executive director know. Um, always love good testimonials. Uh, Sid asks, what is tomorrow's leadership team webinar going to be about? I am so happy that you asked because that is actually a great referral for me. If you like today's webinar, a good referral is to please let your other leadership team members know, both in your chapter and in your region, about these webinars. Um, I would love to have more and more people on the webinars. We have a capacity of 1,000 people, and usually we have under 100. So I'd love to get more people on these webinars. Tomorrow's webinar is going to be the Leadership Team Tools and Reports, and that is a one-hour webinar. And what we're really going to be talking about is all of the different um, things that leadership teams do. I, I don't want to say what vice presidents and what presidents and what secretary treasurers, but really all of the different functions of almost anybody on the leadership team. So we're going to talk about, well, as a vice president, for example, how do we enter a POMS report in the system? How do we go back and edit a POMS report if somebody made a mistake? How does the POMS report work with the online slips? How do we enter the speaker rotation into BNI Connect? How do we assign a mentor and a mentee? How do we um, enter a visitor into BNI Connect? Also going to go through a whole bunch of the reports in the system as well. So reports that can help your chapter and help you as a leadership team what the different reports mean. For example, you know, what is that meeting notes report all about and how can it be helpful in our chapter? So those are the types of things that we are going to do. Uh, Sid asks, can you please define SMART goals? Uh, SMART goals, SMART is an acronym. It stands for specific, S is specific. M is measurable. A is achievable. R is relevant, and T is timely. So another R is uh, relevant or realistic. So that's when, uh, so Jared said, uh, when he said goals are attainable, that's part of the SMART acronym. Um, so goals need to be achievable and attainable. Um, so within your ability to achieve them, but they should still be a challenge. So does that, hopefully that helps uh, Sid, and thank you, uh, Jared, as well. All right, do we have any other questions? Any other questions at all about the goals or anything else in BNI Connect? Be happy to answer those questions. All right, if there's no additional questions, thank you guys so much uh, for being here today. Oh, Sid. Sid asked one quick, uh, the upcoming webinars, are they different subjects? Um, no, what I do is this whole this whole um, topic list of these nine webinars, they repeat on a monthly basis. So there are some times when we have special webinars on specific topics, but for the most part, those nine webinars um, are repeated each month. So. So the existing webinars that you can access, um, they are mostly these topics here. There are a couple of other random ones on, on other months, but for the most part, it's this series of nine um, that, are, that you can see the archives of. Okay. Uh, one final request, by the way. Please, I would absolutely love it if you gave us a like on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. I'm really, really trying to get to 10,000 likes before our international conference in November. So I would love it if you could just pop on there and give us a like or two. This is also where we do some, um, you know, basically reminders and things like that of upcoming events and um, things like the webinars. So 
please uh, give us a like on Facebook. All right, everyone. Uh, I think that was the last question. So thank you guys all for being here, and I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Happy connecting.